Hi, my name is Jocelyn Ball Edson. I'm a landscape architect with the Parks and Recreation Department. Today we're at the J.C. Nichols Fountain looking at the restoration process. The progress is going great. The contractors have been out here on site since um, early, mid-January and uh, they've been working on the concrete. They've uh, replaced all of the concrete bases uh, for the sculptures and they're fixing cracks and uh, pocks and other problems in the, in the fountain floor and walls and they'll be doing some patching on the, on the coping stones around the perimeter of the fountain and then we're going to be applying waterproof coatings to both of those surfaces. So uh, they're making really good progress and we've been lucky with the weather, especially this week. We're very lucky with the weather right now. It's great and so they're just forging ahead and trying to get it all done by April 14th. Well the, fountain, the sculptures were removed because the basin had to be repaired and it couldn't be done with the sculptures in place. So the work we're doing here we would normally do on site but uh, we're doing it in the warehouse now because um, they had to be removed. So we're doing a maintenance treatment on the outside of them, which means we've cleaned them, and now we're applying a protective wax coating to them. Um, it's a hot wax. We actually use a, a blowtorch to heat the surface of the, the metal to make it hot enough that it'll melt the wax. The, the wax is a mixture of, of uh, naphtha and the wax itself, because the wax is a very hard wax, and you couldn't actually brush it. Um, in, its, in its native state. So you dissolve it in the, the naphtha and that allows you to brush it on. That burns off and you end up with a very hard wax on the, the surface of it. The thing that's unique about having them in this kind of a situation is that we're actually able to go up inside of them and look at the condition on the inside of them and do any maintenance that we need to do in there. That's a rare opportunity. And we did find that one of them had a whole series of iron bolts that were holding it together and they were all corroded and falling apart so we could take, remove those and put um, silicon bronze bolts back in place. You know, it's always an honor to be able to work on, on these pieces and, and it's a joy because you get to see them up close and look at the detail, look at the quality of, you know, the artist's work. The four dolphins with the kids riding them are really pretty spectacular. Um, the, there was one face of one of the, the children who's looks like he's barely has his dolphin under control and he has such determination on his face. I really, really love that. We will be having our Fountain Day celebration. We have a celebration for Fountain Day, the day the fountains are turned on. Uh, every year we have it at a different fountain and this year we'll be having that here and it'll be a kind of combined ceremony for fountain, fountain Day opening ceremonies as well as the unveiling of the restored fountain. For more information, people can visit us at our website, kcparks.org and we'll have more information on that site as well as ongoing updates.